I'm serving the 1st Battalion of the Royal Regiment of Wales. And I've been here for approximately now eight months training recruits. Uh, welcome to my stand. Uh, my stand consists of clothing, kit and equipment that your sons have been using here well, at this day of the ATR or in the near future when they go off to the units, uh, regiments, battalions, etc. The stand, however, is broken off into two parts. Firstly, it's comprised of mine about military clothing and equipment and the other one is about adventure training. It's your sons and relatives carried out the week seven when they went off to Halton. What I'm going to do is hand you over to Private Kenny, who's going to just speak uh, a little bit about adventure training now. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. As you know, my name is Private Kenny. I'm going to be talking to you about a few of the safety equipment and a few of the equipment we have to take to us at Halton Training Camp. First of all, we have our Vanguard Force training tape. This was shared by two people and all their equipment. As you can see, we had our rock climbing ropes. We can carry three or four of these to the end of our Also, helmet. I am Private Street and I am wishing to join the Royal Military Police. British troops have to train to adapt to all types of climate, especially jungle. They carry out training and operations in places such as Central America and Southeast Asia. When carrying out these exercises or operations, They'll be wearing clothes similar to what I am wearing now. Notice, the bush hat. This would shade my face from any sunlight. This will stop my face from getting therefore stopping any infections. This wet rag, I'd wipe my hands and face on. I want my hands on it so I'd take a good grip of my weapon. But also carry the compass with me. This will allow me to navigate through the thick vegetation of the jungle. I wear DPM pattern material combats. These be a lighter weight than normal combats as I was to be in hot climates. I also wear British issue standard boots and British issue standard webbing. My webbing would carry all my equipment ready for battle. I'd also have my 5.5 six bullets for a minimum survival. Are there any questions? <laughs> I'm quite at high and wish to join the World Class Advice Works first time. British troops all around the world act as United Nations peacekeeping forces. Therefore, they have countries such as Rwanda, Bosnia and Cambodia. When deployed, they have around similar clothes to what I am wearing, such as a blue beret, UN, a blue cover, on, protect them from, shrapnel, and a gloves on, and now on. So they are British, a red stripe. So what regiment they are, in this, this case, Royal Welsh Fusiliers, a crest, UN crest, and badge of rank. They would also be wearing DPM webbing, DPM combat, and boots. They would also be carrying their 5.56 millimetre rifle. Is there any questions? Hello, my name is Private Hughes. I'm Mr. George, and I'm Mr. George, and I'm Mr. Protect them. On each arm, each leg, you notice protect the paper. 
If they protect the paper comes into contact with any chemical agents and will change colour, let me know there's chemical agents in the area. My suit and my helmet is designed camouflage to help me blend in with my surroundings. On my feet, normal army issue combat boots, I will carry my 5.56mm rifle, they in fitted. Around my waist, my haversack contain S10 rescue. Are there any questions? Gas, gas, gas! Quickly close his eyes and hold his breath. Put on his respirator. Put his on his respirator. Blow up hard and shout out gas, gas, gas. The reason for this is so that any contaminated air between his mask and his face will be blown out through the speech module. All right, therefore, he's not going to uh, interfere against any poison. Once he's done that, then pull out, place up his hood, does up his zip, places his back on his head, wet, uh, helmet, and then get all his weapon. Notice now, no part of his body is exposed right, to the outside world. His hands are covered, his face, as mentioned, boots, etc. No parts of his skin. Therefore, inside that suit and that respirator now, he's in his own little world. He's, he's safe from all the dangerous elements within the air now, and he is now fit to fight. He's still close in and kill the enemy. The respirator, which will always be at this side, and all this, gloves, inners and outers, and all this is detector paper and decontamination kit. And <laughs> 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 <laughs>